OG Fortnite. On March 22nd, 2023, Fortnite released UE Fn, also known as Creative 2.0. This, everyone was talking about how someone was going to bring back OG Fortnite. It was released only a couple of days after, but looking at it today, hardly anyone is playing it. Why is this? I was not really super active on Fortnite myself until Season 4, Chapter 1, but I was still a little hyped for going back in time to play the OG Fortnite, but has yet to actually try it. And I can tell, as a now zero build player, the reason why it was very obvious to me. This type of building, it was not in OG Fortnite. And Mandan make no. feeling really authentic. My big assumption about the really OG Fortnite players who play during that time mainly do not play Fortnite anymore. Of course, there is someone who still play and enjoy the game, but the players who used to play then would quit Fortnite because the building got out of control and they just could not keep up with it anymore. Just like me. So watching a video like this where the insane builders play OG Fortnite actually made me not ever want to load up this mode and the pro players who have played forever and practice building and are cracked at cranking 90s would not play the game because it doesn't make any sense for them to play a watered down fortnite that is not really going to help them out in their competitive settings or anything like that but i would also say that this is not the only reason of course one of the main reasons i would say is that they came out with it way too fast and they do not even have close to enough memory to be able to make the game as big as it should be not even having more than 20 people in their lobbies or something like that. For some reason, you can't see the minimap or even where the zone is pull pulling. So honestly, someone released it way too fast and it might have killed it before it even took off. Right, we, like, we don't know where the next zone is. So it's like a hardcore version of Fortnite that way. Also, Fortnite announced that they would not allow creators to be able to recreate further on the game, which means we would not be able to relive season one, two, three, four, so on. And the game did not really blow up before around season three. So most people don't have nostalgia for the really OG Fortnite. Also, nostalgia can only carry a game so far. If you all had to go back and actually play OG Fortnite today after how much the game actually has developed, I believe around 99% of us would not enjoy it, considering how there were no turbo build, no auto pickup, controller plays at an extreme disadvantage, and so many problems with the game that we have forgotten about because we remember the time so fondly. Sometimes it's good to reminisce about the good old days and think about how fantastic it was, but maybe it should stop there, not wanting to go back because the grass might not actually be greener on the other side. Instead, we should just enjoy what we have now and pretend that the good old days is the days we are living in right now. I wish there was a way to know you're in the good old days before you've actually left them. Anyway, I wanna thank you all for 500 subscribers. And I said to myself, as soon as we hit 500, I will start making more content. So this is it. If you ended up here until the end, you're the MVP. All right, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.